Welcome to GNN. Today we're here to talk about variety. Variety is one of those concepts that's pushed by the American Dietetics Association, the USDA, and other key organizations involved in putting out information related to nutritional habits and health. Variety is supposed to, when we incorporate it into our diet, decrease the odds of being nutrient deficient and as a result, optimize human health. So characteristics of a healthy diet include adequacy, moderation, balance, and variety. And these are being pushed not only by official organizations, but constantly in articles like The Importance of a Very Diet by Aaron Beck. Or this one, right, a podcast. We see six reasons why you need food diversity. And many dozens of these every year, suggesting that eating a rainbow is the healthy way to approach our life. So we hear that variety is good, but we also almost as frequently see articles suggesting that variety might actually be bad for us. Reuters itself putting out this one recently, focus on variety can lead to eating too many unhealthy food items, or eating a varied diet is a good thing, except when it's not. Or ask a nutritionist, should I eat the same foods every day? And even why sticking to the same foods might help you lose weight. So is eating variety really a good thing? So when we have contradictory information, like we so often do with nutritional studies, what can we do? With nutrition, we often do have inconsistent information from different studies. So one thing that we can do is go to history and see what history says about the topic. So we travel back through time and we find a lot of isolated populations based on the anthropology that are suggestive that variety in the diet was relatively low for many of them. Information we have related to some of the populations today, such as the Maasai as well as the Inuit Eskimos, suggests that atherosclerosis and ischemic heart disease is very low in these populations, despite diet variety being low and saturated fat percentage not being around that 7% that the American Heart Association has suggested, but instead way up in the 60 to 70% range. So this really does bring into question how important diet variety is to overall health. So should we embrace the concept that variety is key to overall optimal health? Or should we, based on anthropology and the information related to Inuit and our Maasai populations and others, perhaps be a little more scientific and challenge consensus positions on this topic? That's a decision you're going to have to make on your own. And although it might be a tough one with the confusion information that's out there, we certainly have only one true freedom, each of us, and that is to make our own decisions. So I encourage you to do so. For me, I am going to embrace the idea that variety will improve my health until there's more information to suggest otherwise. Having more plant-based foods on a regular basis and to continue this practice until we know more about the topic. So if you're interested in pursuing variety for yourself and others, Matt Fitzgerald and his DQS app and approach generally is very easy for most people to learn and follow and greatly improves diet variety for some. This is an approach that's relatively straightforward in that foods are categorized as those that are of high quality or those that are low quality. And the high quality foods give points as you see here for each time you eat them, but fewer points as you eat more and more. And therefore, if you want the highest DQS score, you have to actually mix and match and have variety in your diet. In addition, to have the highest score, you need to lower your intake of the low quality items because they tend to decrease your total point count. As a result, variety is encouraged. So the DQS is a reasonable approach for encouraging diet variety for the average consumer. On your part, I hope that you still consume a varied diet, one that is rich in plant-based foods and as a result, rich in nutrients. That's it today for GNN News. Thank you for joining us. This is GNN.